How cute. Hey, did you smell stand back? Yeah, trick or treat. Hey, Boom. Marco, I don't have time for games. No, neither do I. Sit down. Now, I understand that you have a tape of Jessica and Marsha Travers. No, together, that is doing not what true. Been doing since time began, and I understand that you want to use this tape as leverage to get it stand back. Who told you? You do understand that I could have you arrested for extortion. Is this why you brought me in here? No. Okay, then fine. Whatever it is, we'll have to wait because Marshall's being inducted this morning and I gotta be there. Wait, wait, hold on. What? What's this? It's my cell phone. What? Show it to me. I realize that you do anything you can to get it stand back, but carrying one of these around, you're the one who's gonna get hurt, Paul. The gun is legal. I have a permit if you want to see it. Yes, I do. What are you planning on doing, Paul? You want to have a shootout with your father on Main Street? Would you just let the police handle Stenbeck? Well, like you've been doing all along. He's been terrorizing this town for years. You guys haven't done a damn thing to slow him down. All right, believe me, I understand your frustration. But weapons and, and blackmail... I know what I'm doing. Hand. No, you don't! Does this have something to do with Rose? I mean, leave Rose out of this. All right, I, I assume that you two have been in contact... No, well, we haven't. All right, you happy? Come on. What's wrong? I haven't heard from Rose in a long time. Is she all right? I assume I would have heard if she weren't. Well, Paul, what is going on? I don't... I don't know. But I'm sure she'll contact me whenever she's ready. In the meantime, Stenbeck is coming back to Oakdale, oh, and I have to be ready for him. Fine. There is a warrant for his arrest. If you do see him, contact me directly, and I'll have a unit over immediately. And that's exactly what he'd expect me to do, isn't it? Play by the rules. Well, I am done playing by the rules, Margo. This time, I'm doing things my way. Meaning what? Have an objective. And not give a damn who gets hurt. You take the law into your own hands, I have no choice but to arrest you. Now, wouldn't that be ironic? You go to jail and your father goes free. That is not going to happen. And so what if it does? Do you know what it's like having him out there, Margot? There's not a day that goes by that I am not racked with shame for being related to that psychopath. You are not your father. Yeah, and that would be the rational way to look at it. And I have tried. Every single day of my life, I have tried. But no matter what I say to myself, I can help feel responsible for the crimes he commits. All right, I have no idea what it would be like to have James Denbeck as a father. But taking the law into your own hands, that is not the solution. And how do you know? How good are you with this? I know how to use it. You are going to get yourself hurt. If that's the cost of stopping Stenbeck, then so be it. Hey. Paul, I'm going to assign a plain clothesman to you, all right? Thank you, but no thanks. I'll handle this myself. Can I go now? Oh, Paul. You know I don't have any reason to hold you. Good. Can I have my gun? Hate to be late for Travers's induction. You never know who might show up. Hey, hear any good bachelor party jokes lately? I didn't laugh at any of them, Jack. <laughs> What's going on? Well, as of last night, my wedding to Carly was off. That's why I tripped out on the guys when they surprised me. But as of this morning, I'm happy to say that it's back on. Good for you, Jack. <laughs> Nothing for Carly and me is ever going to be easy. Stuff's always going to get in our way, kind of like your brother. But we're going to do it right this time, Marco. Oh. I'm happy for you. Yeah. And let me probably be the last to say it's about time. <laughs> no kidding. So, uh, anything new around here? Yeah, Paul Ryan was in, and he hasn't broken any laws yet, but it's just a matter of time. His obsession with linking James Stenbeck and Marshall Travers is getting more dangerous yeah, I know, every day. I know. I'll have a talk with him first chance I get, although I don't know when that's going to be. Well, you're going to be kind of busy today, though, huh? Yeah, which is why I need a favor from you. Anything, just name it. I got this with my wedding gifts at the Lakeview. I didn't come with a card. No one saw it delivered. Well, maybe, maybe it was delivered to a different event. Yeah, I get the feeling that's not it. Can you, you have this traced? Sure, sure yeah. Uh, you want to tell me what you're thinking, though? How about though? half a sandwich left over from yesterday? No, not a sandwich. We want candy. Okay, here you go. Who's first? Me. that this baby shirt is from Julia. You remember when she paid me a little visit last time she was in town? 
there's a possibility she could be pregnant. But you haven't heard from her. I... Why would you think that? Right after she disappeared, she sent me a little gift. A stick from a home pregnancy test. Needless to say, it was positive. Oh, well, that does sound like Julia, but... But, Jack, that stick could have been from anybody. Yeah, right. That's why I didn't say anything. Look, this baby shirt, that could be a mix-up. But just in case it did come from Julia, I think it's smart I know about it. All right, all right, all right. I'll get on it right away. Hopefully I'll find out something before tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. But, um, call me on my cell phone, not at home. Oh, you haven't told Carly, huh? We've had enough problems for one day, Margot. We don't need this tripping us up. Listen, don't let this present thing keep you from having a happy day. This is your day. You should make the most of it. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll be in touch. Thank you.